This is Drink Talk, where we try to solve the world's problems one drink at a time. Every other week in this podcast, we talk about the topics of today and tomorrow while highlighting and enjoying beer, spirits, and wine from around the world and also crafted locally. Join us. We are your hosts, Brian and Britt. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another round of Drink Talk. I like how you say that like every time. Nobody could tell that you're a DJ and like right. you're a... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's That's one, of my, one of my favorite things I like doing. <laughs> All right <laughs> then. We're going to slide right into this program <laughs> easily and nicely. Exactly. Listen to the sultry voice of my voices. Yes. My voices? What? Our vo- yeah. I don't know. The voices in my head? Yes. All right. I uh, apologize for just being a few minutes late. We were uh, working on a few things. Uh, I hold no apologies. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a diva, so you can do that. <laughs> no. 8.30-ish. <laughs> Whenever we can make it. Exactly. Uh, well, as you can see from the display that we have here, uh, if you are watching on uh, Facebook Live, vodka. we are doing vodka, 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 vodka drinks. Um, this is we've done a few of these, a few of our favorite things episodes. We've yeah. done mixed drinks and uh, a few other things, and now what it's that, rum drinks. Was yeah, that one yeah, that where we had grog, which was actually oh, pretty man, good. It was really good. It was really good. Uh, but now we're doing vodka drinks. So we're yeah. doing uh, um, some of the, our favorite vodka drinks, everything from super simple to uh, well. You'll see. I'm not gonna not gonna Fancy. spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, yeah, uh, I remember one of those uh, few of my favorite things where we did um, like old school stuff, and we did the Gatorade. Yeah, yeah. What was the? It pe- was or- orange Gatorade, peach schnapps, and vodka. That's it. Yeah, I, I remind, it took me back way back in time. So <laughs> hot tub time machine. Hot right tub there. time machine. Um, so yeah, uh, it's great that uh, Brian, you uh, awesome that you. We're able to yeah. make well, this happen. Yeah, so the um, the vodkas that we're going to be using today, uh, we have uh, from, if you're looking at the camera from left yeah, to here. right. Yeah, get down on there. So get the on. the one on the far left, uh, North 40 Vodka. North 40 comes to us from Lonely Oak Distillery. We uh, actually interviewed Pat Hoffman out there in Erling, Iowa. It is uh, He's a farmer, and he ha- he decided to create a distillery out there. That was a really fun episode. It was. It's about an hour, hour and 15 from Omaha. Uh, not too Not too far. But um, uh, that one's just their regular uh, vodka. And um, then the one in the middle is Kirkland brand vodka, which you can pick up at uh, Costco. It's you their know, Kirkland brand is great. Oh, it is. It's, Isn't it Grey Goose? Uh, I, th- I thought it was Belvedere. It could uh, be wrong. I think yeah. they have the Belvedere plants, maybe, and they only uh, distill it one less time. This is the six time distilled. They have a five time distilled. Um, but it's like 14 or 15 bucks, something like that. And then the one on the far right is the uh, also the North 40, but it's their peach vodka. And I got a little story to go with that one. Um, and we uh, we ended up getting the two uh, uh, North 40 vodkas when we uh, interviewed Pat Hoffman. So shout out to uh, yeah. Lonely Oak Distillery and Pat Hoffman out there. He's a good good guy. So. I uh, I tried finding his uh, shirt. I, I, we each have one of his shirts. I just wore mine last night. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> I wore mine two days ago, and I was all like, oh, man, I, eh, it's in the laundry. I can't. Yep. No. Yep. Should have sure. represented. <laughs> it's all right, no big yep. deal. So the the first one that I think that we uh, that we're gonna do is um, oh I thought I had this plan. My fault. No worries. Uh, I do want to before we get too far into the show, uh, do a big shout out to Brenda. Uh, Brenda was actually supposed to come on our show tonight and uh, talk about care builders at home. Um, if you don't know about that, check out care builders at home. Uh, it's probably dot com. You mm-hmm. can go check it out. Uh, but they do amazingly awesome stuff for people that need it. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to be on the show and drink. Uh, I believe we're going to drink on tequila tonight, but uh, uh, we switched it up. We're going to drink on vodka tonight. Uh, but we'll get you, uh, Brenda, on the show sometime soon. Yes, so. yeah, and that was my fault. Yeah. We had a scheduling conflict again. So <laughs> time it slips away from us easily, doesn't Next. it? Yes. <laughs> well, on to the drinks. We've yeah. uh, we've uh, gone on t- long enough here. Uh, why don't we start with uh, just a simple one? Yeah, uh, vodka cranberry. Britt, do you have any stories about uh, drinking vodka cranberry? Vodka have you ever cranberry. Had one? Well, you know, it is good for you because the cranberry inside of it. Uh, yeah, two drinks, two, <coughs> two, two glasses. Um, vodka cranberry is good for you because of the cranberry juice that's inside of it. We'll also be drinking on uh, something else as well, but l- let's. Let's wait on that. Yes. Um, while no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. While you're doing that, Brian, you want to grab two waters off the door there. Right. Then we get, we get some uh, 
back up Agua. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I've never really been a vodka cranberry juice drinker, but um, my wife was at one point in time. So I don't know. I'm just going to be using the Kirkland brand for this one since we're mixing. Um, the uh, North 40 vodka, when Britt and I had that, we actually tested it against um, another brand that is uh, handcrafted. And the interesting thing about the vodka that Lonely Oaks does, they actually craft their vodka there, which yeah, nobody makes vodka. It's weird uh, yeah. for a place to actually make their own vodka. There's a lot of places that have vodkas, but they're made by some mass producer, and then they add just a hint of whatever they want in it uh, to make it their own, and then slap a label on it. Whereas North 40 Vodka actually makes and produces their own, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. So Yes, and uh, the reason I'm not doing that is because by itself, the vodka is actually pretty flavorful, so I thought... Grab the some stir sticks. Ah. Very good, very good. Here's your... Uh, the cranberry juice, I just uh, went to the local supermarket and picked up uh, regular cranberry juice, so nothing fancy, but uh, I haven't actually had this particular cranberry juice before. R.W. Knudsen, just cranberry. It's in a fancy, fancy glass. I like it. Should be good. It's awful dark. It should should be. I mean, it's cranberry juice. It's how can you mess up cranberry juice? I guess making it too sweet, maybe. All right, stir sticks. We get nice stir sticks. Excellent. Thank so you. Leave these are from some place in uh, Las Vegas, some hotel somewhere in Las Vegas. Okay, all right. Well, to that. All right. Cheers. Chickity chickity cheers. Ooh, that is a tart cranberry. Yeah, that is very tart. Like, there, there's is there no sugar in that <laughs> cranberry juice at Man. all? That is it's, that is straight cranberry. It's like they just took the cranberry uh, cranberry and mm-hmm. just squeezed the juice out of it. I guess and I like, there you go. Yeah, just I guess I should have gone with the uh, oh, wow. the juicy <laughs> juice. <laughs> this is get it <laughs> all natural. Like right. they like they literally squeezed cranberries into this glass. It's all good. Uh, it's a little tart. It's a little tart. I'll make it go down though. Mm-hmm. Make it go down. Mm. Yeah, there you go. I, I can't even taste the vodka because the cranberry is so overpowering. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I guess I should have seen it. It's almost like a pomegranate, but like bitter. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like they have, <laughs> like they have the rind in there. Mom, <laughs> you bought the wrong juice. <laughs> <laughs> this juice is crap. No sugar in this juice. How did you drink they, it? You'll like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> All fruit has sugar in it, except for they extracted the sugar from this, so right. it's just straight, oh, mm. straight tart. Well, that's not a this is not a good way to start <laughs> a uh, episode of our few of our favorite things because yeah. this is not going to be one of my few of my favorite things. <laughs> least favorite so far, <laughs> definitely least favorite yeah. so far for sure. Um, I do have a story about the Kirkland brand vodka since that's what we're using to mix on this. Yeah, so I make my own amaretto, and if you followed the show before, you know I I, I talked about that and. I just used like rot gut, the cheapest, you know, if I can find a handle for 10 bucks, that's, that's what I'm going to buy. Sure. Cause I go through, I, I make six gallons of amaretto. So I go through a so lot of vodka lot. and, uh, you sound like a Russian. <laughs> um, the, there was a year that I tried to do, um, switch it up a little bit and use Kirkland brand. Cause I had found the Kirkland, Kirkland brand vodka and I found it delicious. So I decided to incorporate that into the recipe. Well, the thing about Kirkland brand vodka, uh, when I was making it, um, I actually took a shot of it just to try it out before I put it into the recipe, and it was extremely smooth. So were they sampling at the store? No, I, this is at home. That would have been way it. cooler if they were, though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, you know, on Saturdays when you get all the samples, they got a vodka, but people are lining up. You know, I actually am a big fan. Uh, High V does that a lot, where they just do like little mm. samples of stuff, and, and I think yeah. that's awesome. It's like... Uh, they'll have three, you know, shots of something, but usually they're like me, one sir. There mm-hmm. you go. Yeah. But then you do your shopping, and you come back, and you're like, oh, yeah, I need some more. Yep. <laughs> it's it's more not, I'm not the same guy. I'm a different guy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, but anyway, so uh, I put it into the recipe. Well, and, and those of you that don't know what amaretto is, there's there's a ton of sugar in it, and the smoothness of the Kirkland brand vodka ended up not cutting through the sweetness at all. So no. it, it turned out way too sweet. So I had to switch back to just rot gut. You know, I use uh, Barton's or what? Like I said, whatever's on sale, uh, and I can buy a lot of for real cheap. 
That's that's pretty much as close to close to ethanol as I can get, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> um, this is actually after a few more drinks, it's growing on me a little bit more. Um, it's still pretty tart though. I think it's um because uh, it wasn't cold uh, at first. Uh, yeah, maybe the, the chill has gotten to it, um, diluted it a little bit with a little bit of water. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a lot smoother than when, when we first started. That's for darn sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mine's going down. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do you, do you have? Uh, I know you had one, but do you have more drinks that you wanted to do, or is it just the one that you? Well, then we got the. I, well, I we, have the several. one my wife made. Oh yes, yeah, okay. so we got that. We got that. You know, we should we should probably do a, a, a different one next then. Is that uh, whatever's clever? Yeah. I, I you know we can keep it rotating and then at the end go back to the one we like the most. Yeah, so. yeah. Should we? I'm gonna switch up to the next one. Do you have a story about uh, what we're gonna do next? Oh well, I mean, yeah. I guess if we want to keep on the the um, juice train, I guess mm-hmm. uh, we could go with the vodka lemonade, which mm-hmm. is a typical thing. And uh, with the vodka lemonade, yep, absolutely. I'd love to have the peach vodka. Yeah, tell a story about that one. Um, so when we went out to the North Forty, um, well, this was at. Well, yes, yeah, we had it there. We yeah. had it there. Because I had it before, because uh, I met him first at Spirit World in okay. Exarba Village and had it first, and then, so I told him about it, and that's how we tried it. Yeah. There. Uh, well, anyway, the, the first time we tried his uh, peach lemonade, um, he, or uh, not peach lemonade, uh, his peach vodka, he mixed it with just some country time lemonade, and it was definitely a porch sitter. Um, this time, I don't have the country time lemonade like he had. I actually have real lemonade ladies and gentlemen my f- lovely wife uh sat up squeezed lemons into a little uh, jar you know filtered it out and got all the uh you know whatever you know uh seeds and stuff out of it and uh made some simple syrup and simple syruped the uh recipe and now we have uh, country time lemonade via my wife but there is a recipe that uh she got it from the pioneer woman um her name's Ray Drummond. Um, she is not an old lady. <laughs> she wants people to know that. Uh, <laughs> she's a blogger, author, food writer, chef, photographer, uh, TV personality, lives and works on a ranch in Oklahoma. So my wife got this uh, recipe from her. Even though it's lemons, uh, some sugar, <laughs> and water. Uh, the peach vodka actually reminds me of that peach schnapps that we had and that's... Uh that one, yeah, um, drink that we had uh, last. The peach what? schnapps. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Gatorade and peach schnapps. Yeah. Gotcha. Kind of right. you, so. You're you're the one that made it. I don't know Cheers. the name of it. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Oh yeah, much better. That's that's oh. wo- wunderbar. Mm-hmm. Yes, wunderbar. We went from Russian to German. <laughs> oh. No, I um I really like North Forty vodka. I'm a big fan. Um, the Lonely Oaks Distillery. They, uh, if you zoom in on the bottles, Britt. They, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Bingo. There's something special about the bottles there. Um, I don't know if it comes up as clear. Well, you can see it on the uh, more of the white bottle. Uh, towards the top, there's a little round circle there, and there is a penny on every single bottle, and it is the year uh, that the distillery was uh, started up. Yeah, he just and thought it was be a neat 2017, way. so yeah. a couple just, years back. He just thought it was a neat way to... Uh, display what year or what batch that yeah, was that little guy right there <laughs> <laughs> yeah very cool um and i think the map there's a map underneath the label yeah the map underneath the label is uh, uh the way the pl- to their place so yeah. the plot lines and the that's a pretty slick little what, label what you call it and whatnots but we, handcrafted in iowa so we're kind of keeping it local mm-hmm. local ish across the river yep i've been trying to get the um we have a guy's uh the ponca hills whiskey club uh, Ooh, that's a fun thing. Yeah, we've been trying to get out and get their bourbon. Their bourbon is fantastic. Uh, Britt and I actually had some of the first bourbon, and not only the the, um, the first batch, but it was uh, we had the pre batch, like stuff that hadn't matured yet, and then we had them all the way up to the mature, just so we could see the different levels, which is really really good. But uh, they've been wanting to get out there. It's not not too far. Uh, I would look them up. They. Uh, they're doing some cool stuff. They're doing like uh, comedy tours and uh, nice. live music and stuff, and they're uh, they're getting going. I think there's like a beer festival. They're having some kind of beer festival, and there's a, a brewery. North Forty's having a beer festival. Yeah, interesting. And, and, yeah, and there, well, there's a new brewery in town 
in Erling, Iowa. I okay. Don't, I, I don't know where. I don't know if it's like in in town or what, but I heard that there's a new brewery there. Right. So, way to go. Bravo. Bravo. I this want is a, delicious. I know, right? My wife, uh, like I said, turned away at this for at least 20 minutes or 20 minutes plus. And I'm like, you need any help? She's like, I got this. I got this. Kudos, I know what Charlie. I need to do. Kudos. This is... To go from uh, the super, super tart. <laughs> Man. I choked mine down. Uh, I'll get there. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get there. When you want your prune juice, <laughs> you'll get there. <laughs> End of the night when you don't care. Right. <laughs> Just whatever. Um, all right. Well, this is going to be an interesting episode. So yeah. I only notes on my screen are the type of vodka that we have. And the drinks that we're doing. Perfect. That's And go. <laughs> go. Uh, no, you know, uh, some great things happened to me over the past few weeks um, that I don't know if, you know, I've been able to talk about since we've actually been off the show for, for about three weeks now. Mm-hmm. Uh, taking a little downtime, we've both been hectically, hectically, hectically busy. Uh, but it's that time of year. As is life. And so I'm proud to say I finally made it through that time of year and I'm getting to a point where I put my vacation in. Woo! <laughs> Not that I'm on my vacation right now, but I was actually to able to say the outlook and the outcome of what is happening close to summertime. And I was like, I'm going to take that off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. I'm, uh, I'm getting a nice four-day weekend for uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I'm taking the whole week of 4th of July off. I'm taking in, uh, at the end of summer a couple of days off here and there. Like I'm going to start trying to take Fridays off. Nice. Why not? Wish. Make it a four-day week instead of a three-day week. Or, yeah, yeah. four-day four week day instead of a five-day five week. week. Yeah. <laughs> I was going backwards there. Yeah. Scratch that. Reverse it. <laughs> Reverse it. Flip uh, it then. I don't know how <laughs> Rihanna does it. Or not Rihanna. Uh, Missy Elliott. Well, mine was from uh, the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh. Or actually, it was Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. The new one is Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Gotcha. So, the way I remember that is when Willy Wonka came out, we were also during the Vietnam War, and Charlie was a like a derogatory term. Yeah. So they called it Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. And that's why I the think new we one. talked about yeah. this a couple episodes back. Yeah, I think we did. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, that that was uh, Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Scratch that. Reverse it. And then and then uh, Missy Elliott. Sure. <laughs> Flip it and reverse it. Oh, man. I just can't get over how delicious this lemonade is with the peach right? vodka. Um, this is definitely warm weather drink. This this is a... Um, uh, almost get a, like... Get a better cranberry juice for, <laughs> for one. Start off with a better cranberry yeah. juice than we did. Vodka cranberry is, is kind of one of my go-tos if I don't know. Uh, I mean, I always order an old-fashioned... But, oh, it's a uh, quick. It's a quick drink. I mean, yeah. yeah. If they don't even have the stuff from uh, old fashions, then get yourself a vodka cranberry. But or this, just try harder by getting or, something else. Not or vodka. Go, <laughs> go to a decent, uh, <laughs> decent bar. Right. Um, no, this well, is you got nothing to make a rum drink around here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bar is this? All we have, sir, is vodka. That's it. <laughs> You're like, what? And bush light. <laughs> and bush light. <laughs> well, you know your target audience, yeah, I guess. Like, exactly your clientele. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of a hot summer day after you mow the lawn. You don't want to grab a beer. If you're not a beer person, this would be awesome. Oh, vod- the, uh, this vodka lemonade. Hold on. Peach vodka. Oh, yes. And peach lemonade. Peach vodka. Peach and vodka. that adds a little a little different twist on it. You know, vodka and lemonade would be fine, but the peach vodka is awesome. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the Smirnoff flavored vodkas. This was... This is the only flavored vodka that I will drink because it's actually uh, craft vodka, mm-hmm. which is delicious. <laughs> you should you should only drink craft vodka. It's delicious. We're gonna have to take a shot of the regular vodka here uh, a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm I'm down for whatever. Uh, another nice thing uh, that's that's very good. Uh, all the whirly birds are out of my tree now, finally. <laughs> <laughs> they all fell at once. They all fell. Well, we had the storms kind of roll through yesterday. Uh, yeah. And uh, those of I you mean, in the Midwest, I hope uh, everybody's safe. There was a lot. Yeah. How many tornadoes? Were there five tornadoes? I don't know. Six I know. That I heard that like they that. had Dorothy out. Uh, you know, yeah. Dorothy. No. Well, it's not called Dorothy. <laughs> it's called something else. But oh, you know what I mean. From Twister? Yeah. Uh, they have one of those. It's not called Dorothy, but yeah. it's called something. But it was in the panhandle for a while and was in Nebraska, which was kind of cool. Um, but it's essentially like a tank, 
and they just drive it right up into the door. Like, here comes the tornado. Here I go. <laughs> just drive right up in here. I'm like, just like those guys that fly into yeah. tornadoes. I mean, you, I mean, you have to have something with a lot of weight mm-hmm. uh, for it not to pick itself up off the f- ground. So yeah, I it would assume it was a tank yeah. with that thing strapped on top of it, and that's what they do. They just drive into it. What a weird job. Yeah. I want you to fly and drive into tornadoes. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hold my beer. Yeah, there we go. Now, now I'm ready to go. <laughs> and I don't know why guys who drive into tornadoes are southern, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do have the uh, the Storm Chasers baseball team here. Yeah, that's right. We well, we are in um, the well, not as uh, much as um, down below as Oklahoma, uh, or, or Oklahoma is more of a tornado alley. But I was uh, weird to hear that uh, Illinois had some tornadoes a couple like a couple days back. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's pop up tornadoes everywhere. I I did want to mention. I just noticed that uh, we had several people drop off. It's it's nine o'clock. It's the uh, series finale of Game of Thrones tonight. So those of you that are staying on. Much appreciated. Oh, yeah, that's right. Season finale Game of Thrones is happening. Yeah. Well, hey, we'll gain some more viewers next... Uh, there you go. Next Sunday, or two Sundays from now, whenever we go on. I did see a funny uh, funny meme. Uh, hey, Ben. So I just turned the comments on, so... I, there we go. So you can, uh, if you're on live, you can post so we can uh, see you. If you want to post some of your favorite vodka drinks also, uh, that'd be great. Speaking of Game of Thrones, Brian... I found this uh, funny meme right here that's kind of funny. It's uh, Game of Thrones will be airing its final episode this weekend. And if you were wondering who's going to die, my guess, HBO. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. No, that was funny. Yeah. That's, that's funny. That's, 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 that's good. That's, that's funny. funny. Yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> um, what are we doing next? <laughs> we're just rolling through these like... Every oh, I'm sorry. ten we'll, minutes, we'll, we'll um, sip on this a little bit longer. Sip on this a little bit longer. We're, we're, do, we're doing just. Fine. I'm gonna go back to that cranberry. Just see how tart it is after having <sighs> the sweetness of the lemonade. Right. Probably died down a little bit. Not really. No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. Still there. Uh, it's um, it's like if if you had a drink that you didn't like to drink, but it had health benefits. <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> That's kind of the well, feeling. Well, this I is have. healthy for me, so. <laughs> but it tastes I'm just like gonna crap. keep on drinking it. It's be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's cranberry juice. It's it's right. got to be good for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so uh, yeah, whatever that uh, cranberry juice was, probably shouldn't. Uh, no, yeah. What what is that? It's just cranberry. That's what it says. Yeah. Just cranberry, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. So that would that would do it. Yeah, but I I would have thought there would have been some sugar. No. In here. Because it's just cranberry. Literally, that's all it says on the front. It's got uh, just cranberry. Nine grams of sugars. So there is some sugar in here. Some sugar. I'd, I'd like to see. Hold on. They're, pro- they're like sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. good. Nine that's good. nine granules of <laughs> sugar is <laughs> what that is. Nine G. Nine granules of sugar. Right. Where it's like uh, two scoops of sugar for for regular right. juice. Uh, the way my wife made the uh, the lemonade. Um, Remember Age of Empires? Yeah. Whenever you made a building, it go lemonade. I don't think it's a lemonade. I well, it, it said sounded some, like it would sound something like that. It sounded like yeah, lemonade, so, and then the priest <laughs> sounded said, YOLO, YOLO. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, she made a simple syrup. Instead of doing just like straight up mm-hmm. water and sugar and all that stuff, she she made a simple syrup, for, that which is that is the same. Syrup. Yeah, I mean, but it's warmed up on the <laughs> stove and things of that nature. That's how I make simple syrup. Yeah. Wow, there's that uh, ghost in the machine again. Yeah, it's it's this microphone. It's Here. I think I need a better wherever uh, you pop go. Fil- I need a better pop filter. Wherever you go, the wind follows. Yeah, right, <laughs> dust in the wind. Oh, uh, that was a uh, quote from the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. <sighs> the Spider-Man Noir. So many movies out right now, mm-hmm. right? I just went and saw Endgame, so I'm gonna. While you're listening to this, I'm going to go ahead and spoil the end. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> Spoiler gonna, alert. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No, don't do that. People on the online community have been really, really good about not spoiling uh, Endgame, so I will not. Uh, but it is it is very good. It's very long, so uh, don't drink anything like the, the hour before because <laughs> it's three hours long. So, well, yeah. Uh, you don't want to miss anything. I, th- I heard that if you go online, like it'll... 
if, if you say if you type in like uh where to go to the bathroom in Endgame, like it'll tell you the scene like where to, when you can go and you're not going to miss anything i never got this so in movie theaters they do them all stadium style seating right now right yeah so well, well i mean <clears throat> some of the they're doing assigned seating they're doing the like the ones that i go it, to it, have it, the it, recliners it, but yes the it, it's it's all stadium style seating right mm-hmm. why don't you just use the space under the chairs which i don't know what they're using it for maybe they put all their extra popcorn under there i don't know uh but use the space underneath of where the stadium style seating is at one side you'll put a men's room and the other side you put a women's room in and oh, it, but then you'd have you'd have bathrooms in every single theater and keeping those cl- whereas the other one it's I just they go but to but then but then you could pipe the movie into it you know true uh you wouldn't miss a, a moment of the film you know true um toilet seats ooh but now i just thought of <laughs> well here's here's the thought you would have to have a tv and you'd have to have speakers you shouldn't use the speakers on the tv because if you just direct line feeded it to the monitor somebody could put like a, t- a recorder on there feeded F- feeded feeded <laughs> feeded S- it send the feed send the feed mm-hmm. to the somebody would uh just use that instead of using their cell phone they'll just like <laughs> go to the bathroom and mm-hmm. plug in their recorder and pirate a movie that way hey why well, you been in the bathroom for so long <laughs> leave me alone pirate a movie. Pi- pirate a movie pirate and feeded it feeded it <laughs> Today, I'm, today's I'm good, I'm good, with, I'm good with words. <laughs> I are, I are educated. I are good with words. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the way you talk. Mm-hmm. I do like them French fried taters. It's horrible. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. If you remember that movie, you're old just like us. Way to go. I I would love to do another one of these, actually. That, that went down way too quickly. Well, why don't we, uh, or whatever, yeah, why don't we, we do a new one, going. and then we'll, we can circle back to... Uh, circle back around? Yeah. Well, uh, we do have the fixings for this. Uh, since yes. we were doing vodka, I have the fixings for Moscow Mule. So, if you, love want, it. If you want to yeah. go ahead and get the ginger beer out. Um, in my Moscow Mule, we were going to be doing, um, starting off with... We aren't doing um, crushed ice, though. We're doing the... Um, yeah, just the cube. I don't know if I need two, Brian. I think one would do it in both of ours. Uh, but I will need an ice cube in both of these. Bingo. Um, with these Moscow Mules, I am going to be crushing fresh mint into the bottom of the cup. Which uh, I told Britt I've never had mint in a Moscow Mule before. Uh, you know, it's more of like you do like a mojito that way. Yes. Um, but uh, fresh mint uh crushed mint i've had in in mine and i i like it it adds a adds a little character to uh what you were drinking on oh, i already put one in there very nice muddler there Britt. yeah right. very nice uh those of you that do not know what Just moscow open mule up is the uh mint leave is yeah. what it's to do um moscow mules are made with uh vodka and ginger beer and lime juice and I think the lime juice helps cut through some of the. Um, if you've ever had ginger beer by itself, it's it can be uh, pretty pretty hardcore. It took me a long time to drink ginger beer straight. Um, and um, one of the places that we go to, Inkwell, out in Countryside Village, uh, they uh, he makes his own ginger beer out there, and it's got a little kick to it. It's got a little jalapeno kick to it, which is delicious. And uh, he's got it on tap out there. Do you need the other can? No, this made just enough. Okay. Uh, I decided this time there's a lot of different ginger beers out there. Um, some of them more famous than the others, um, but I'd never seen this one before. It's uh, by Stoli, and I was like, well, Stoli makes actually a really good vodka. Uh, but this is made with uh, pure cane sugar, um, and it's gluten-free, which is awesome. Uh, it's a premium mixer, non-alcoholic, um, and it's um, the house of Stoli or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it, it seemed seemed good. Well, and of the drinks that we're having tonight, this is the uh, going to be the highest calorie drink. Do uh, you want to uh, do the regular, the North Forty uh, regular vodka, or do you, we want to stick with the? Uh, this is your drink, so whatever you want to use. Let's do that. Since you have, we should. Do you have a couple? I'm sure you do. A couple shot glasses. We should probably do a shot of the uh, the vodka. Um, at some point, because that North Forty vodka is really, really good. Uh, yeah. This. Thank right. you, sir. No problem. Watch out for the mint and the lime. So, cheers these. 
Cheers. Vodka. Well, that's um, yeah, that's sweet. It's um for a ginger beer. That's pretty. It's almost like a, like if Sprite were to make a uh, ginger beer. Well, the solely is it says pure cane sugar is what they say. Yeah. Well, yeah. So maybe I should have used a little bit more vodka. I mean, I think it tastes fine. I think no, it tastes great. It is really good. Um, but I'm just not used to ginger beer being this sweet. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe just a tad bit more uh, lime juice. Thank you. Thank you. It's not as uh, the mint is very subtle in there yeah. too. Uh, what was I gonna say? The uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of carbonation. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. The the beer, the ginger beer, does not have. It's not a big, you know, fizziness in your <coughs> mouth. Fizzy. Yeah, and usually it is. Yeah. I dig it though. This is really good. Yeah. And I'm I'm uh, not used to having the large cube in the Moscow Mules. Usually it's a uh, crushed ice. Into yep. the Moscow Mules. Well, the, I mean, sorry. That's all I've got. That's, <laughs> it's fine, buddy. That's a good problem to have, giant ice cubes. Right. <laughs> yep. Hey, Doug. Doug just hopped on. There you go. What's up, buddy? Oh. For those of you that are uh, just jumping on, there's a couple uh, new people jumping on. We are doing vodka drinks. So if you have a favorite vodka drink that you enjoy to drink or drinking, uh, go ahead and post your comments in the feed. And I will. Uh, I'm monitoring the feed here, so I will. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know that we can make it, but uh, depending on what it is, or if you've got a good vodka story, or ooh, yeah, that's yes. a good one. Vodka good. stories are always good. This would have been a good call-in show. We haven't figured that one out yet. We haven't done a uh, Skype in. You know, the funny thing is, I was actually speaking with a gentleman at uh, Casual Pint today. I popped in there and grabbed my wife a few beers and all that stuff and may have had a beer while i was there you know why as not? one does as one does um and uh yeah we got talking and he was really excited that i've got a, a radio show or a little talk show and uh he was like oh you're doing vodka oh my gosh that's that's i i love vodka you know and all likes to well i don't know if he said he loved vodka but he drinks it from time to time he doesn't do tequila though uh but anyway he's like is there any way i can call in I was like, well, kind of, technically, you can get online, and we do Facebook Live. For those of you who are uh, listening to us uh, via different program, because uh, we do launch it during, uh, over simultaneously different platforms, uh, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, uh, Livestream, uh, Vimeo, all s different sorts of things. Um, yeah, watch yourself there, bro. Uh, you can actually comment live with us um, via Facebook, because that's where we go live first. Uh, we also go live on live stream, but it's that's a different kind of platform. There's not really a whole lot of live users on that unless you're watching soccer or football or something like that because uh, live stream's huge, actually. <laughs> and who would who would be watching us on live stream? We got, we got a post here. Uh, somebody had posted Kyle. Uh, he's talking about – he said this isn't one of his favorites, but it, it reminds him of, a, of like a college party drink. And a 30-pack of the cheapest beer you can get, so probably some Natty Ice or sure. Bush Light or whatever. Uh, a handle PBR, if you're in the right place. PBR <laughs> is actually a little flavorful. That surprised me. There is a cult following with uh, PBR. That's but, what uh, I drank when I was in uh, up in Montana. Nice. Uh, then you add a handle of cheap vodka, 10 frozen lemonades. Hold on, hold on. You're mixing this whole entire pack of beer. Yes. Okay, it, like in a big giant punch bowl. With a, a half gallon of vodka, which is your handle of vodka. Okay. And 10 frozen lemonades. I've, I've heard of this one. Interesting. Uh, he calls beer, it the, lemonade, and vodka. Yeah, he calls it the beer aid. <laughs> Instead of lemonade, beer aid. I do have some beers in there, but those are lot, those are IPAs, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just probably, it, it you're mixing go, it. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're mixing it. Use the cheap beer. Cut so. the flavor real quick. Oh. Doug, I see you posted a link. I, it's hard for me to see links on there, um, on the uh, on the feed. So if you want to resend it's that, probably a link to making it. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, no, this is really good. And the mint in here, like I said, it's it's subtle, soft. Not used to having mint in a Moscow Mule, but this is um, quite delicious. Right? I'm digging it. Well, the polar ice caps are melting, Brian. Oh. No. Because we're drinking Moscow Mules, <laughs> which is usually like a warmer weather kind of drink. Yeah. Um, it's a little, uh, yeah, I don't know. Vodka can go either way, really. 
I you can have your warm weather warm weather drink and your cold weather drink. See, for me though, um, vodka's on the low end of you know getting something at the bar. So if I'm going to get something at the bar, a I would choose a whiskey drink first, or a beer. Mm-hmm. You know, if they've got good beer on tap, and then um, I would do a rum after that, and then I would do vodka. And then finish I would off with the, finish yeah. off with a Jaeger bomb, and <laughs> there goes the night. <laughs> oh, um, I was in uh, uh, where was I doing the bodybuilding thing? Uh, St. Louis, or yeah, St. Louis. You weren't doing the bodybuilding. Well, I was not. I was DJing a bodybuilding event. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> These guns, man. I, you know, you see me up on stage. Mm-hmm. Um, I was DJing a bodybuilding event. Anyway, I was uh, when it all got done, I was able to sneak out sideways and and. Uh, like I had an hour and a half, two hours before the bars closed, and then I found out they close at four there instead of two. Oh, I was hey. like, oh well, I've got more time. I've got or no, wait, wait, it was three or something. I don't know. So anyway, uh, I had an extra hour that more than I thought I was going to. Anyway, I was at the bar, and she's like, "Shots for everybody at the bar." I'm like, "Nah, man, I, you know, that's all right. I'm good. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll just drink my beer and it'll be good." She's like, "No, you're gonna do a shot," and I'm like, "I mean, if you're buying a shot, whatever, you know." Uh, Sambuca. Oh, yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. so she went in the freezer. She's like, oh, yeah. She's like, I don't have any Sambuca. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I'm not taking a shot. <laughs> and she whips up this little fruity cocktail shot for me. I'm all like, I'm not a pansy. Thanks, thanks. I just, I, I literally went to the other end of the spectrum with that uh, Sambuca shot. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got some friends out in uh, in England. And uh, she, uh, we met on Beale Street. And uh, they're good, good folk out there. And uh, they posted a picture of Sambuca sitting in the middle of the table. Mm. And I was like, oh, going to be one of those kind of nights? Mm-hmm. And she responded, it's always one of those kind of nights. It's always, <laughs> always. Her and her yeah. husband are awesome people. Nice. So, uh, Drew said that the uh, with the mints added in here, it sounds like a Kentucky mule. Which does well, sound, there you go. That's which probably what it is. Uh, I know. I I just had it at maybe it was at M's Pub downtown or something like that, and he put a little mint in it. And I just thought that was, it's just a nice little crisp, um, well, mint. It's more you know, I don't know. There's a um, makes a, your breath fresher, right? <laughs> um, the uh, there's a local place here, uh, Twisted Cork, uh, which is a, a big fan of our family. Yeah. Uh, but in the winter, they do a Santa Mule. Which is uh, has a peppermint stick in it and a little bit of a um, a peppermint vibe to it. It's more than just the the peppermint stick, but it's uh, quite delicious. It's like a dessert drink. Mm. It's amazing. I like it. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, Brian. Uh, well, some, Brit. Some more of your favorite things. I, well, you know, you you guys have been hearing about my favorite things. I, you know, Brian, you could talk about how uh, I don't know your. Daughter just had a you know, dancing competition and well, just recital, a recital <laughs> thing, you know, <laughs> whatever competition. It's it was a compi- da- it's it was competition, a, Brian. It was a dance off. It was a throwdown. Yeah, they brought the cardboard out. They had the big boom box. It was a dance off. <laughs> Might have been. I don't know. Awesome. <laughs> uh, no, it was good. It was uh, it was good. I mean, it's it's cute because they're she's little and she's even for her age she's little so she's always the smallest person out on the stage, which is a lollipop kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did. Um, no, they did a song from um, uh, Sound of Music and um, the uh, the yodeling song uh, from Sound of Music. Yodele hee-hoo. Yep. Yodele oh, oh, look, look at me. I knew, yeah, yeah. knew what I was talking about, I yeah. guess. <laughs> um, and then, I have seen Sound of Music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then they did Ben Rector, one, uh Not my girls, but one of the other, uh, the older girls, they did uh, a Ben Rector song called Brand New, which is awesome i love ben rector uh went to uh see him down in kansas city he's a really really cool you literally diverse. just went down to kansas city to see him or you were in kansas city and he just happened to be there and you're like we went down to kansas city to go see him. wow it's yeah admirable nice yeah. um he's got never song. traveled somewhere to see an artist uh that is the second time the first time was uh to go out to uh, colorado to red rocks oh uh, now that i would travel for yeah, that was a lot that was a lot of fun um but uh, the uh, yeah, D- Doug, who is on the feed, he uh, he was on that trip out to Red Rocks. That was a that was a good time. Uh, yeah, I remember getting a phone call from you guys yeah. while you were in a bar. <laughs> well, no, we were actually on the pizza joint at that point. Well, whatever, you yeah. were somewhere drinking. Yes, and you had a few. Yeah, and you were like calling me, and 
wanting to, me to come out, and I'm like, yeah, let me just, yeah, 12 hours, see you guys in a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, where was I going with that? Oh, ben Rector. Yes. So uh, those Jeez. of you that don't know him need to look up the song Old Friends. It's uh, Yeah, that was very kind, cool. kind of a tearjerker song. It's a really, really good song about uh, you can't make old friends. You can make new ones, but you can't make old friends. Right. It's a really, really good song. Unless you make them right now and you wait 40 years from now, and then they might be old right. friends. <laughs> and if you, uh, if you actually go to YouTube and you watch his video, he shoots it in his old home that he grew up in with the band that he played yeah, it's like with like an old garage did. band yeah it was it's super super cool it's a it's one of my favorite videos right now so and he's one of my favorite artists right now <laughs> music artists a few of your favorite things mm-hmm. well look at that oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh doug's commenting about the the trip yeah yeah that was, that was a good trip that's colorado what happens in colorado should stay in colorado no i'm just kidding <laughs> 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 These mules are good, Britt. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I, like you said, I think we need to get shot glasses, and I think I need to take a shot of just a regular vodka, and I think we need to take, a, and we, we, we just take the little tiny shots, um, and then the Kirkland brand, and just get the different flavors, because I know that his is going to taste, it's going to sound corny, but corny. <laughs> but that's what he's got to work with. Yeah, actually, when you're driving away from his place, there is a whole... Um, I don't know how many acres of corn he's got, but uh, the sign on it said uh, that this corn is for mixed bourbon, uh, which is cool. So he, I don't think he uses it in the vodka, but uh, I I'm gonna drink some water right now, Britt, because it's uh, <laughs> we've been this is our third drink, so right, we're good with shots. That. Oh, hey, oh. are those the uh, are those the shot glasses from Sweden? They are nice, very nice. Toot toot toot. I haven't used them in a while. Over in Sweden, they have uh, schnapps, like we have schnapps, but theirs is way higher alcohol content. It's closer to vodka, and um, they uh, they there's a little party thing that they do, and you put it on a little carousel, and there's several different vodkas to choose from, uh, or different uh, wow. schnapps to choose from. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's we should have got those little pour things. <laughs> Good thing this is a. It's all right. Yeah. Granite countertop. Yeah, it'll be all right. Slate, slate. Again, those of you that are joining us, uh, thank you for uh, hopping on tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, even, uh, especially, I should say, since the um, um, the Game of Thrones uh, hang on. Uh, series. That one is the Kirkland, and that one's the... I'm sure I'll be able to tell. Right. So I wonder if I can tell just by smallies. Yeah, this is his. Yeah, this right. is... So, Kirkland first? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, that's the smooth one. <laughs> Two. The Kirkland's the smooth <laughs> one? Mm-hmm. Like paint thinner. <laughs> that, you know, yeah. vodka to me is not very flavorful at all. It's not. Um, it's like paint thinner. <laughs> but, it, I mean, smooth. it's smooth. I mean, I guess it went down fine without me going... <laughs> yep. Of course, we're doing half shots yeah. of shots. So, because we're... Yeah, we're we gonna do one ha- full shot. You don't want to get hammered. No, <laughs> it is vodka. It's gonna take a take yeah. a lot of vodka. <laughs> Being uh, as though this is not even forty percent. Yeah, it is. Is it forty percent? Has to be. Is that what it can't be under forty? Correct. Correct a mundo. What vodka is over forty? There's there? there's might be since they make it since they craft it. It's possible. No, it's just forty. Oh, okay. He's 40. All right, to Lonely Oak. To Lonely Oak. And getting back out there, hopefully, sometime soon. Yeah. Toot. Yeah. Got a hint of corn. And sweetness. Hint of corn and sweetness. Yeah. There's actually flavor to it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Get out to Erling, Iowa. Iowa. Check out Lonely Oak Distillery. More fun things that has happened to you. Recently, Brian? Um, well, yeah, I mean, there's there's things I didn't want to bring up on the podcast, but... Uh, just you with, don't have to bring them up if you don't want to. Yeah, you know, with work and all that, but uh, which I've been working a lot more hours and all that. Well, that's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. I mean, not a bad thing. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm coming to the end of my season, which is, which is good, um, but I still care about everything that's going on at the place that I work at. 
And, uh, of course, I was doing shout-outs to texting the guys over there and making sure that they're doing, thing right, doing things right over there. And, of course, they called me up with a few questions, and I have no problem answering them because it was one of those days where I was kind of like, should I go into work? Like, I was right on the verge. I'm just like half the full-timers are out and half the full-timers are there. So um, a lot of things have been happening literally in the past, like, six, seven days. It's just been chaotic with – half my crew out of the building and another half of uh people not there and uh it's a constant cycle of freelancers and all that stuff um anyway uh i was just i was a little worried about today um but i texted them the stuff that they needed to do and they're like we've already done that and i'm like i don't need to go in today no big deal so i'm glad of that glad to have the day off it was nice Thanks. i just wish it was a lot hotter well, yeah, it was crazy weather. Like uh, two days ago, it was 95 degrees. Yesterday, it was 75 degrees. Today, it was 55 degrees. Right? 20, um, 20 degree jumps. Well, I, a, lo- a nice thing, I got the lawn mowed yesterday before it rained. I was I, I did the front lawn, and I, I heard it rolling in. I'm like, nah, I got a little bit more time, so I'm hitting the backyard up, and I pushed my way to the backyard. And then the back end of my yard has the trees. And right when I got to the trees in the backyard, it started coming down. I was like, I'll be all right. <laughs> I'm under the trees now. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> No big deal. Um, I did want for the uh, for the next. Are you done with your mule? Are we moving on to the next one? Sure. Well, I mean, <laughs> you do whatever you want to do, man. Pound through. Well, I, I save these. I was so gonna I can say go, you you're you're saving yeah, yours. I'm saving mine so I can go back. Um, but I had a story because we kind of talked about the red and all that. So, um, one of the gentlemen that came with us, uh, Josh, um, he actually hit the whole trip. We stopped at Costco, got the Kirkland brand vodka, and that's all he drank uh, the whole trip. <laughs> but it was vodka, ice, and Mio. Okay. Just a squirt of Mio, vodka. And well, the, that Mio by itself is strong. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. just a little bit of that will sugarfy a drink, mm-hmm. essentially. Yeah. I don't know how much sugar is. I don't know if it's not sugar. It's a sugar substitute. It's... Stativa or whatever they call it. Zero, yeah, zero sugars. But it's got some kind of element of sugar in it. What sweetens it? Yeah, my favorite. It. My favorite is the cherry black cherry. Yeah. In fact, I favorite. think I actually have some of that still here. Oh yeah. From when we were at the old bar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we did a. We may have, we're doing a vodka of sorts. Might have even been this vodka. Who knows? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Uh, we can make up another. We get the big bulbous glasses. The bulbous. Yep. Remember this drink? This was the Irish, uh, the Irish whiskey. Mm. Not Irish whiskey. It was a cream. Yeah. Irish yeah. whiskey. Yeah, I do something remember like that. that. Uh, and you, you were like, I don't care about the whiskey. I care about the cups. <laughs> I'm like, those cups look sweet, and they would totally fit the ice cubes that you make. So they're good glasses, though. They're good glasses. Hey, Mike. Thanks for joining. And hey, Nancy. Uh, oh, Nancy's got one. Um, she got a story. One of her friends da, is a big vodka drinker, and he does uh, cheap vodka and juicy juice. Juicy see, juice? See, this one here, Nancy, uh, this was uh, like I thought I was getting a good cranberry juice. You know, there's not much sugar, so it's super, no. super tart. This is uh, normally I like a, a cr- vodka cranberry, but this is uh, tart, tart. So uh, Here's a, a bonus tip of uh, when you don't have any mixers and you have vodka and you need a mixer and you don't want just vodka and water, a uh, cheap magic trick that you can do uh, if you have kids. Yeah, it's like a magic trick. Um, you know, kids love those ices. You know those ices that you can just throw in the freezer and yeah. cut it open? Uh, one of those. Just throw an icy and a vodka and a little splash of water. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's your mixer. Nice. Done. <laughs> uh, what do you want for... Same. It just mix it up like you. I'm not too worried about it. See how this goes. Right? Precise measurements only. Right? Uh, for you, those of you who are just joining us, um, we are drinking on vodka. Um, and we're telling stories and uh, talking about fun things. But if you have a vodka story that you'd like to share... Or vodka drink that people should try. Uh, please comment in our comment area. <laughs> and uh, Since Mike is on, I'm going to tell the story. This is another when we went to Colorado. Red Rocks. 
<coughs> um, sure we don't need to add a little water into this? It seems thick. <laughs> but all right. Have to chew it. So Got to chew it? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Got to yeah. chew it. Yep. Uh, Mike, uh, if Mike is still you're not a real man unless you chew your vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's still on, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell a story. I know it's Mike's story to tell, but it's a it's a great story. So, right, yeah. uh, Mike, you want to phone in real quick? We'll <laughs> just put it up right up to the microphone. We're uh, we're heading out, and um, like we could make that probably happen. Yeah. The so Mike Mike had had a few, so he was you know feeling feeling pretty good, and he needed some water. Well, Josh gave some of uh, his water to mike which was ice vodka and mio and uh so mike drinks it you know not water it's actually vodka and right. uh, so he drinks it and he's like oh that was suspicious water <laughs> so that <laughs> suspicious <be> water <laughs> so that became the must be from the real yeah, grand <laughs> yeah that, that became the whole trip was the uh suspicious, suspicious water <laughs> love it <laughs> yep well here's to the mio yes cheers these oh Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> yep. We're going to just yeah, we do douse need that to. in water. Yeah, we do need to water that down. Oh, man. He was using crushed ice, so. <laughs> <sighs> Not okay. as bad as the cranberry juice. Not as bad as the cranberry mm -hmm. juice. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Mike. That's better. That's, that's better. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was that's that's still what to this day has to be one of my favorite stories, though. Oh man, that's some suspicious water. <laughs> 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 yeah, when your water burns as it goes down your throat, uh, yeah, that's suspicious water. Yep, <laughs> that was a good trip. Yes, we need to since Doug's on there as well. Doug, we need to do that again. So, uh, yeah, and invite me this time <laughs> instead of phoning okay. you in. Can, can I phone a friend? Can I phone a friend? Yep. Um, oh, this is good. This is if you just want a simple drink. Vodka, water, and Mio. There you go. And ice. So, uh, some more of my, my favorite things. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway is here and gone, finally. Oh, so now you are freed up a little bit? Well, uh, you know, I I when it comes in, it's a, a big circus. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, it, circus is not the right term for it. It's a big event, yes. But it's it's come, and it's gone, and it's great. It's great when it's here. Um, I get a lot of fun, neat perks because um, I don't own any stock, but yet I get to buy all the items that are stock worthy, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Got some new gloves and some new um, kitchenware and got some uh, just odd and ends stuff around the house, which is, which is good at a discount price, and that's always fun. But it's always chaos. It's always, I don't know how many people we had there. I mean, it had to be probably seven to 10,000 people per day. Um, Friday is when it opens, and then Saturday it runs, and then there's the Saturday meeting. Um, the They have to have so many offshoot rooms besides the arena. Well, the arena, I know, holds like 17,000, 18,000 people. So there was that, mm -hmm. plus there was more. So it, it had to be well over... You know, thirty thousand, forty thousand people to hear uh, over a weekend time. Um, so yeah, it's m utter chaos. So it's it's f it's crazy to build up to it, but I'm glad it's over. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like what's well, a good thing for it? Well, mm -hmm. you know, everything was good. You know, brings a lot of uh, big name people into Omaha. Well, it brings wealth to Omaha, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Which is a smart thing to do. Um, you know, during that weekend, uh, bars, hotels, restaurants. Uh, you know, amusement parks, uh, the gamut of people win when those people come into town. They uh, and people keep opening or open their homes as well. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. B Airbnbs. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, just random people. I think are opening their homes. I don't know how they do that. But uh, yeah, that is weird. Yeah, just rent hey, you need rent a place to crash. I got a home. Pretty Here, much. Come on. <laughs> rent, renting a room basically is all that is. Well, I hear that happens during the College World Series as well. And yeah. that's our next big event. Yeah, coming up in the June. College World Series. Mm -hmm. Yep. I can't believe the school year is almost over. I it, just, it flew by. This year, this school year flew by. Right? So it's amazing to think. For me, it doesn't matter because I work all year round, but uh, I have kids. So yeah. <laughs> you're ghost <laughs> senior. Well, it's like the wind finds a tunnel 
and then it just continues to go I think through the microphone. So you're a heavy mouth breather and you're creating all that wind. Yes. <laughs> it's my nose. <laughs> yeah, see? There it is. Yep, see? Told you. Yep, it's my nose. Um, I see some new people on it, so uh, thank you for joining us uh, today. We are drinking on uh, vodka drinks. Vodka. So those of you that didn't weren't here at the beginning, we started with the cranberry juice here. And we went to the vodka lemonade, which the vodka cranberry uh, normally is good. Wah. I picked up the wrong Wah. cranberry juice. And this is very tart. Very tart. Uh, if you're looking for a kick in the mouth by cranberry, <laughs> by the just by cranberry <laughs> brand. <laughs> yep. Uh, then we went to the uh, then we went to vodka lemonade, which was delicious. The homemade lemonade from uh, Britt's wife. Oh, thank you, Carly. And then we went to the Moscow Mule with mint. So uh, what Drew said was a Kentucky Mule, which is uh, yeah quite delicious. Only we don't have crushed ice; we just have the big cubes, which okay. is just fine. Whatever. And then we did a couple shots of uh, we tried a, a half a shot of Kirkland Moran, and we did a half a shot of the. Uh, North 40 to show the difference between yeah. uh, the flavors, uh, which the North 40 is way flavorful. more flavorful. Um, which, speaking of vodka, that I wouldn't be, say it's too flavor. It's yeah, it's not too flavorful. It's I, but I wouldn't. I'd be cautious on mixing it, just because it is a more expensive vodka. Yeah. Um, well, and that's uh. So when we do uh, it, when we get to it, um, I'm gonna do another Moscow Mule, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do it with the Kirkland brand this time, instead of the other. And I should have been measuring it out. I should have. Could have, would have, should have. Sorry, though. Uh, and now we are just drinking on uh, vodka and Mio uh, with a little splash of water in there. I which guess I can get a shot of the... Uh, I should put the Mio out there. Yeah, get a shot of the bottles down here for those who are just now joining. Mm -hmm. We're drinking on the Cherry Black Cherry Mio, which is my favorite. But it's a uh, cheap way, easy way to make a, um, a drink because... A little one of these will go a long way. In well, a little bar. one of those is only like what two bucks, something like that. Uh, somewhere between two and four, depending on what where you it's shop. Cheap. It's cheap. Yeah. Hey, Jake. Thanks for joining us. Who's uh? That was me. Sorry. <laughs> I have an alarm set. Mm. Last night I had to go take care of a Beatles band show. The Beatles are still around. Hey, the uh, Beatles tribute band. Let me restate that. Um, <laughs> this is not the greatest band in the world. This no, is the greatest song of those. This oh, is a tribute. There is a uh, the, greatest song the Ramada there on Seventy Second. We do the AV there, and of course they call me up last minute. They're like, "Hey, we need to use the drop down screens." I'm like, "Hey, those cost money. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to pay any money." I'm like, "All right." So the actually the well we we don't even need to get into logistics, but um, I had to go there and do that. So I had to set a an alarm for 9.37, I believe is when that went off, uh, to make by 10 mm -hmm. to collect the gear that I had to put out because it's expensive gear, you mm -hmm. know? I can't just leave that stuff lying around. Faux oh, show. Faux oh, show. Um, but I caught a little bit of the Beatles, so that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I did have one more. We were going... Uh, we're now we are going through a lot of drinks. We're pouring small pours, and I'm not drinking the whole thing. So just so you're, if you're uh, looking mine at mine, are all empty, Brian. Well, you can stay <laughs> I live here. here. Yeah, <laughs> um, I did bring orange juice, which is the classic mimosa. vodka. No, 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 no. Mimosa is made with uh, screwdriver. Oh, mimosa, yeah, screwdriver. Mimosas are champagne. 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 Um, so I did bring that for okay. screwdrivers. Yeah. So the classic. Classic vodka. screwdriver. Yeah. Uh, well, probably one of the first vodka drinks that I ever knew of was the screwdriver. With vodka, anything fruity or citrusy, because it's not very blender. flavorful. Yeah, it's yeah. not a very flavorful drink. Basically, take whatever you're drinking and make it alcohol. Put alcohol in it. Well, that, with, that's all you're doing. Somebody with says, vodka. you know, oh, hey, my mixer is cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. It should be the other way around. My mixer is vodka. <laughs> Because <laughs> it doesn't have any flavor. Well, and it's very low on calories. Or low calorie drink, other than mm. the Moscow Mules. Moscow Mules are a little higher in calories, uh, but um, everything else is uh, pretty low calorie. As long as you're not putting too much sugar, like the the lemonade, you could definitely add a lot of sugar. Uh, so be careful with that. I need to put a little WD forty down. Mm -hmm. but these Mios are zero calorie. Uh, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that they're zero calorie. Uh. Yeah, zero calories. And then the vodka is low calorie. And that's all this is. Vodka, water, Mio. That's a very low calorie drink. The more this ice cube melts in here, the more I'm enjoying the Mio. Mm -hmm. 
I, uh, mellows it out a little bit. Well, I had to deli- dilute it for a little bit. Yep. Because it was just b- way too overpowering at first. Yeah, a little little tiny squirt will do. But now that the more that the ice cube melts and the colder it gets, um, the Mio is actually the black cherry. Is that what you use? Cherry black cherry. Cherry black cherry. Not not a just cherry black cherry. Yep. The other one that we have is uh, okay. Okay. Berry I, I got you. It it black cherry is one word. Cherry black cherry. So it's both cherry yes. and black cherry. Yep. Gotcha. Which I like. Um. Um. Mike introduced me some. Uh, if Mike, if you're still on, what were those uh, those cherries? They weren't maraschino cherries. Now, Brian, you were saying cherry black cherry. Yeah, it's cherry blackberry. Oh, cherry black, blackberry. Blackberry. Oop. That makes more sense. I'm like cherry. I was like cherry black cherry. I'm yeah. like cherry blackberry. You got two t- types yeah. of cherries. Yeah. Two different colored cherries in there. Uh, yep. Blackberry. Right. Cherry blackberry. You've been saying it wrong all these I've years. Been, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> So crazy. Uh, it's all right. No big deal, though. Yeah. You know, some <laughs> things. Something that just blew my mind the other day. Um, I don't know how we got on the subject. It was uh, um, I Love Lucy. <laughs> right? I used to love watching yeah. I Love Lucy. Yeah, they in black and white episodes. <laughs> we the watched, best was. Uh, we watched reruns. We didn't watch it when it first aired. Yeah, no, but <laughs> the, the, one of my most favorite episodes is when they're working in that chocolate factory and they're mm. eating, eating it and yep. they're shoving it down their bras. They're like, just, I don't know what to do. I still love the yeah. Vitamina Vegemin a commercial that she yes. shot. Yes. Get your Vitamina <laughs> Vegemin. It was just alcohol, basically. All yeah, pretty much it was. <laughs> she just had take after take. She was, um, but I didn't realize that uh, uh, Lucy and uh, Desi Arnaz were married, like actual a married couple. And I thought it was I. just married for the show, you know, but hmm. no, in real life they were they were married. Things that you know. Star, <laughs> yes. The more you know, the more you know. There you mm-hmm. go. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Yeah, I'm digging this. So do. Are you gonna continue on that, or do you want to do the uh, uh, screwdrivers? I would love to do the screwdrivers. That's why I've got more cupware out here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Just so you know, we're doing all this for you guys. Right? It's Just all <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> Uh, well, this is, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's an impromptu episode, but um, it, it is for Brian and I, a little bit of an impromptu episode. We uh, we were going to be doing one episode, and then that kind of fell through, and now we're doing this. Yeah. And so far, so good. I think we're at a mile, hour, and uh, minutes. hour and 15 minutes, hour and two minutes, actually, Brian. Yeah. But oh, that's still. right. We didn't we didn't actually start at 830, which is... Well, sorry. sorry <laughs> <for that. laughs> hey, Brian, you know, sometimes... There's logistical errors that happen, and we had to get cupware. And we had to use the restroom. We had to yeah. turn, all, cut all the, the things. lines. Yeah, we got all things. All things happen. Um, the orange juice that I am using is, is simply orange. Simply orange. It's one of my favorite orange juices because it's just orange juice. Yep. Instead of orange juice plus, uh, not from concentrate. Yes, that I love finding stuff non f- from concentrate. Like the uh, Guyver is a huge apple juice drinker. Like he, like that is his number one go to juice uh, of choice. And when I can find non concentrate, just purely apple juice, that's the best. You know what I mean? It's a little bit pricier, but I'll tell you what, um, it's not fake. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's not fake. It's actually juice. Brian, you notice the uh, the logo on here? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These uh, are actually great cups. Oh, thank you, Eric, for uh, chiming in on that. So those cherries, you're right. That was uh, Matt that had those. Um, they're called filthy cherries. Um, what? They were delicious. Filthy cherries. What are you guys talking about over there? Remember I, earlier I said Mike had these cherries that I absolutely loved? Um, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, not maraschino, but these yep. are yeah, they're called filthy cherries. Filthy cherries. Filthy cherries. Filthy cherry. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right to the screwdrivers. Screw yeah, classic. Ending on a classic here. Who says we're ending? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just getting started, here, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is just the warm up. This is the <laughs> <Right>? appetizer. <laughs> uh, next, we're just gonna put straws in the bottles. Right. <laughs> we're just gonna take it down. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fun. We're gonna shotgun. That's fun. Yep. I don't know what that is, but that's fun. Uh, it's Wheat? A unicorn fur. <laughs> unicorn fur. 
that's I'm glad your mind went there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yep. wrong with that, though. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. They're magical creatures. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, I don't want to get into the news. How, I was going to get into the news. How about we just talk about like vodka? Like, what are your experiences with vodka? Uh, not too many uh, experiences with vodka. Um, I had a few friends that used to drink vodka, and uh, I don't really hang out with those friends anymore. I guess. Yeah. So that's my experience with vodka is uh, they don't come around here no more. Mm-hmm. Uh, vodka, vodka. If you want to get into spirits, I think vodka is an easy way to do that because, it, like we said, there's not very flavorful. So whatever you're putting it in, it just imparts that flavor. So like this just tastes like orange juice that has some alcohol content to it. There's not a lot of vodka flavor. We're like with uh, rum or whiskey, you're going to get the rum or whiskey flavor with vodka. It's like, unless you get a flavored vodka, like the peach vodka, there's not really right. a lot of flavor with it. Um, I did have a, an old uh, friend of mine. I don't remember if you remember um, Craig, uh, tall Craig that used to live by me uh, back when I lived on Margo Street. And then he helped me out with the big garden. Okay. Uh, Craig, he got uh, he got all the horse manure for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he, he knew a guy who knew a guy in Iowa that had horses, and I got a bunch of house, horse manure for the garden mm-hmm. of growing tomatoes. It's about to get weird here. It's about to get weird. It's about to go right down the rabbit hole. Anyway, uh, he had an alcohol problem, and he his drink of choice was vodka. And sad to say, uh, one time I had to drive his car and. Something kept hitting the back of my chair, and I'm like, what is, you know, I reach behind, bottle. and it's a bottle of vodka, and I'm glad I was driving him, you know, but now I'm like, I got a half-open bottle of vodka sitting behind me, and I'm driving this man, mm-hmm. but whatever. Um, so, yeah, my experience with vodka, not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? I would say that, the, the like, the first stories that I heard about vodka, even before I started drinking it, were... Um, there was, uh, somebody that I, that's, uh, like friend of a friend and they were an alcoholic and they would, uh, drink every day. And then when they had to be around people, um, not in a social setting, but just more for like business, uh, they would drink vodka because they thought that the, the vodka, they couldn't smell the vodka on them. (laughs) Uh yeah you can you sure can <laughs> you sure can you can smell any type of alcohol in anybody yeah if you drink it it'll come right, it'll out, your come right out your pores for sure yep so um that was my first experience with it I I I don't even remember I want to say screwdrivers were my first like vodka drink that I ever had were screwdriver the classic you know vodka and orange juice uh super simple um and bring, yeah I don't even know what my first vodka drink was. Then I, I think after that, I think my next ones were. You know, Moscow I know what I know what my first vodka drink was, hmm. a lemon drop shot. You know, I have had those. Um, not many people know how to make those anymore. Uh, it's a kind of an old school shot, and they don't light the sugar on fire anymore because no. legal purposes. But they're still not good. <laughs> they're still well, not good. I mean, they're they're better than just taking vodka straight like we did a minute ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but you need a higher alcohol content. Um, you know, like the Bacardi 151 is usually what they use to light stuff on fire because it's got the high alcohol content. Oh. That will <laughs> They're burning it off though, but uh, kerosene. Yeah. Um, but if, um, uh, those of you that are joining us now, I see a few new people, um, go ahead and post if you have any of your favorite vodka drinks. Um, or or a quick story that you can post, or a favorite thing that has happened to you this week, or how you got started into vodka, or whatever. Yeah, vodka and good things. Yeah, yeah. We're this is this is kind of the the chill no note. I know, and I like the music you're playing through our earphones. Just chill. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Very chill, very mellow vibe. Uh, I am back to grilling again. Uh, A long season of cold weather and nastiness and uh, i fired the grill back up uh, not too long ago and fire pits and grilling fire pits and grilling and i'm i'm digging it so uh i fired the uh the old grill up the other day and made some uh barbecue chicken mm-hmm. and uh i have some corn on the cob upstairs right now 
Or I'm thinking I'm going to be doing that here either Monday or Tuesday. So, do you remember the corn on the grill? Yeah, you remember the one that we had out at uh, uh, our aunt's house where they were dad wrapped it in tin foil and submerged it in water for like a day, um, but it was like a s- sugar water, um, and then threw them on the grill and it basically steamed inside the tin foil um, because they were saturated with water. He put the corn on the cob in tin foil, mm-hmm. put it in a cooler, put in it in the sugar cooler, water, sugar water, and then threw them on the grill. Interesting. It's delicious. So he dehusked them. Yes. So I leave mine in the husks, mm. and I just throw you like them. you like floss with your uh, no. Corn I just on the throw them on the grill, and oh. they they naturally steam themselves inside of the husks. Yeah, but there's the, the sugar water adds a little something to it. That's what Th- that's why water. I'm that's actually very very, very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, you could probably do the same thing. Just throw the husk in a cooler of sugar water. Very well could. Absolutely. Yeah. And the strands come right off. I mean, once you... Yeah. And you actually use the husk to hold. Mm. Then you don't need more utensils. What was that again? <laughs> that's, that, that, that's how you eat corn. Those of you not in the, from the Midwest, that's how you eat corn. That's how you eat... That's uh, <laughs> the, the movie Big. That's how you eat the little tiny baby corn. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was yeah, that was a great great movie. It was a great movie. Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. Yep. I want to put a trampoline in my apartment. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get. It. <laughs> I get Todd Bunk. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yep. That dates us. It does a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not by much though. I, I mean, found it. I found it on iTunes for uh, like five bucks one day. You graduated so. in ninety seven. I graduated in two thousand. Ninety six. Ninety six, yeah, you're right. Ninety six, not ninety seven. Making it old, making myself older, yep. right? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, but uh, still, I mean, we're still young at heart. Yeah, <laughs> drinking vodka, drinking. Yep, <laughs> having a good time talking about random stuff and, and stories and, and vodka. Vodka. I don't have any. Do you, I don't have any bad vodka stories though. Like I, like no, I haven't well, had a bad no. night on vodka. No, I uh, not like uh, sambuca or rumplements or. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> aftershock, yeah, aftershock. Oh, or Jack Daniels. No, there's no. Jose jumped in there. It was terrible. It was a bad night. I, I there, there. I, I agree. I have not had a bad night on vodka, but I also have not gotten uh, crap faced, drunk on vodka before. Mm-hmm. It's just way to be PC. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, I was gonna spell it out, but I was like, I'll just say crap. <laughs> yeah, crap faced. Yep. <laughs> Why not? So I'm watching. Um, a new series, well, it's new to me, series on Netflix called The Good Place, and it's with Kristen Bell, who voiced Anna from you Frozen. You still got Netflix? Yeah. I don't. I know. Got rid uh, of that. I know. But uh, so this one is, she is mistakenly sent to The Good Place, but she tries to curse. Well, in this, in it's The Good Place. They don't they don't curse oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I, I watched an episode, well, yeah. like three or four episodes. She's a cute, funny yeah. little actress. So yeah, I watched. I watched that. I uh, love how it post. edits itself. You know, yeah. What the fork? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to get shirt faced. <laughs> I got it. Uh, That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then like uh, her husband arrives. It's like, oh, this is who now you're going to be. This is your partner now. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, what? Like, yeah. How? Why? Why can't yeah, I choose soulmate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is your soulmate now. Yeah. yeah. It's a good. It's a. It's actually very very funny. Very funny. Uh, Ted Danson. Is the architect yes, of the neighborhood, which kind of reminded me, this is like Cheers 2.0. I mean, basically, mm. minus all the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not I saying it is that ch- far. Well, I'm not saying it's a bar thing, but it's a. Uh, to me, it's he's the the head of it and solving all the problems there. Um, like in Cheers, he was the head of the bar and solving all the problems. So I've turned a few people on to this. Um, I don't know if I've talked to you about this, but I've talked to Dad about this. Uh, well, no, we, we there was an episode that we had, and we talked about this where we were getting our news, and I was like, I get my news from Pluto. Remember that? I, I didn't know Pluto was broadcasting. Pluto <laughs> is broadcasting. I get all my news from Pluto. Uh, no, it's, a, it's an app uh, that you can download, and it's Pluto TV. Mm. And they have news channels. I mean, they have all the regular, like CNN, Fox News. Um, they got RNTV news. They've got world news uh they also have movie channels uh they have sports channels they have sweetest sports channels like snowboarding all the time 
surfing all the time. You know, like anything with a board. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Croquet <laughs> all the time. Uh, they have an Unsolved Mysteries channel. Unsolved Mysteries all the time. Nice. Um, forensic Files all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but not only do they have uh, regular TV, which they do have commercials, which stinks, but it's a free app. You don't have to put your name on anything. You don't have to sign up for anything. If you do want to sign up for things, it's accessible by your mobile phone, and now you can control your TV from your phone. So, I mean, there's perks to signing up for something, but it's still free. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've turned about four or five people on that uh, just like in the past week or two. And they they were like, I literally just canceled cable, so this is amazing. They're like, it, it's a menu just like Dish or Cable. Uh, they got music channels, and the music channels are amazing. Hmm. And there's literally like a five second commercial. It's like, this is Pluto TV Radio. Check us out, and then and then they go on the next song. It's it's you know it's super easy and super nice. Uh, but I strongly there there's a couple channels on there. Not like you just give the remote to your kid and say hey. Mm-hmm. Uh, not that there's shouldn't do that anyway. Not that there's nudity or anything. Uh, but you know, running on the beach and the. 420 channel you know stuff like that you know there's channels on there that kids should not access um but other than those three or four channels that you know are unchild friendly it's a great uh app to have uh, to check that out. and it re- it replaces cable it replaces cable and and uh not only do they have the movie channels you can go into their movie channels and if you like something on their movie channels you can actually just press play and start the movie and use your fast forward rewind and all that stuff as well. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's free. Hmm. Why wouldn't you use it? Then check it out. We'll see. Go to Pluto <coughs> for all your news. Um I'm trying to ditch cable. Um, I ditched it a while ago. Yeah. They were like, No, you can't do that. And I'm like, uh, I'm pretty sure I can. Mm-hmm. And they're like, Well, you're gonna pay more on your internet bill. And I'm like, Okay. I don't so care. Whatever. So less than cable. So they're like, Well, you really I'm like, I'm standing in front of your store with the box in my hand click Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i walked to the store i'm like i'm getting rid of this they're like but uh no uh we'll give you all of this for this and i'm like that's still more Mm -hmm. i don't want more i want less Mm -hmm. you know and yeah i'm paying ten dollars a month more on my internet bill but i'm paying fourteen dollars less on my cable bill so i'm saving five dollars a month that's the way i'm looking at it right (laughs) so yeah don't try to you know, cheapskate me or whatever you want to call it. Cheapskate. Uh, uh, cheapskate. That was a good word. <laughs> no, the uh, f- from uh, Interskate um, or uh, Skateland. Skateland, Cheapskate. Then, then oh, yeah, just, Cheapskate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was the jump off. That was, I remember getting off on the Irvington exit and going, are we going to Cheapskate? No, no, Irvington exit. It was off of Maple. Skate, the, well, yeah, the Irvington exit. Skateland was, was I-80, I Skate I-80, or it's been a few things. Well, yeah. But Cheapskate was on 90th and Maple. Mm-hmm. And there In was the a basement. Put, yeah, well, there's still the putt-putt there. I don't know if that's yeah. still uh, active and going. Still but there. But. It's still there. Well, it could be run down and not being used anymore. True. But, uh, yeah. Uh, cheapskate was the, that was the joint. Mm-hmm. That's in in junior high, man. That's, yeah. That was well, the, the cigarettes were sold upstairs. Yep, the cheap <laughs> cigarette place. Yeah. And then the yeah, per- you're not eighteen. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, cheapskate. Are you wearing the roller skates from downstairs? <laughs> Shut uh, up. <laughs> I bring uh, my own skates. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Just like you bring your own bowling ball to the before you know. rollerblades. Uh, Nancy, thank you for posting, but this is a vodka show, not a gin show. Ooh, <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong. Yeah, uh, she posted that uh, she had a friend that uh, would drink cherry and slow gin. Ooh, which I've been getting into gin a little bit, but uh, to me, some gins are like tasting a Christmas tree. Um, I am going to. Oh, you're uh, yeah, gonna do something else. Gonna gonna gonna. Uh, let's do. I want to do a Moscow Mule. Can I wonder. It? I wonder if you did like the cherry, the cranberry juice with the orange juice and vodka. I wonder if that would help. Do I need to go grab another cup? No, I can <laughs> put it in that cup. Oh, this cup. Yeah, this cup would be fine. Do you want me to? Do you want me to mix it up? See what <sighs> we can do. Well, I'd say let's do. Let's get. Cr- let's get nuts. Let's get nuts. Let's do cranberry. Let's do lemonade. Let's do orange juice. Uh, leave the orange juice out of it. I think uh, just a dash of cranberry. Okay. 
uh, a dash of what, uh, what uh, vodka do you want to use? Uh, I want to do the vodka. The, the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do the vodka. <laughs> which, right? which vodka? I meant uh, yeah, the Kirkland vodka. Perfect. perfect. Uh, <laughs> that was way <laughs> off. Um, uh. but uh, yeah, there you go. A little bit of vodka, a little bit of cranberry juice, a little bit of the um, uh, lemonade, and then. Like the quickest dash of Mio that you can do. Okay. Oh, you're almost gonna have to fill that with a vodka. It's, or a, with pretty, it's a pretty small glass. So it's a tiny glass. It's you know, qu- quick pours, quick pours. I'm, let's zoom in on Brian doing this. I'm gonna put a splash of Mio in there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Which one? Do you want the grape? No, we're dealing with the cherry. No, cherry. I do not want the grape. Cherry blackberry. I don't even like. Literally, can you just like, dr- like, boop, boop? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay. I'll fill that a little more. Yeah, I was gonna say I want a little half and half of uh, the lemonade. Let's see how that goes. I almost said grab that pineapple juice because I do have some pineapple in there. It, 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 it you ex- have pineapple. It <laughs> pineapple pen. Pen pineapple <laughs> apple pen. Um, it expired two days ago, but oh. I'm sure it's still just fine. It's pineapple juice. Like <laughs> it's fine. It's fermented now. Okay. All right. Like, I can. I like can, okay or like not like no like. Now the cranberry is subtle. The lemon is there. Oh, yeah. And the Mio's non-existent. I didn't even taste the Mio. Yeah. But it tastes nice. Yeah, it is. That's, that's, uh, it's super juicy. <laughs> it is. Super juice. Ooh, what a good beer. Super juice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, oh, and those who know Cross Train know who I'm talking about. Super mm-hmm. juice. Super juice. Uh, we just had a tap takeover here recently, Thursday. I missed that. You were there for, uh, that was Toppling Goliath. Yes, I know. But, uh, I was just talking about recent events. Casual, so. uh, casual pint. Yes, did the tap takeover. Yeah, missed out. I, I got did. some good cupware from there. In fact, there's a top of the cup right hey. there at the end of the table. Very nice. Oh, I'm still staring at your hands. <laughs> Zoom out of that. <laughs> 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 it was you making the drink is kind of what I was getting at. But all right, <laughs> thanks for that. Uh, oh man. I I don't know what you're laughing at because you're laughing at comments that I can't see. No, I wasn't laughing at the comments. So I'll tell you later. <laughs> uh, so do you have a favorite right now? I mean, now we threw kind of the wild card in the mix, like the make our own. Uh, drink. This was definitely not the wild card. Uh, but I think my favorite out of all of them, uh, if I were to do like say, this is what you got. You got a little taster of every single one of them. I would have to go with the vodka lemonade. That was nice. Yeah. And we mix that lemonade with the peach vodka. Yes. Which adds a whole new flavor to all of it. I wonder if we should have done peach vodka in there. That would have been that probably would have been the jump off. Would have been <laughs> amazing. <laughs> um, mine. That may know. be something I do right after the show. <laughs> I think that uh, for me, the just the vodka and Mio yeah? was a good one. I, I didn't like it when you... First, first splashed it on there yeah. that was that was intense Prob- probably used a little too much yeah but after we added water to it and uh stirred it around and it got the chill of the ice cream mm-hmm. sure that was good yeah yeah the only one that i not uh, the 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 mint in the moscow mule kind of surprised me I, I i dug that that was nice Unfortunately, I got the wrong cranberry juice, so that's... Um, <laughs> but but if you mix it totally with something with a whole bunch of sugar in it, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's fine. Just fine. <laughs> no big deal. I wonder if we mix the uh, cranberry juice with peach vodka, if it uh, would help out. Mm, I'm not... You know, that's something that you could try if you'd like. <laughs> you want me to go get you one more cup? Mm, no, I've got plenty of cups here. You have lots of cups. Mm-hmm. I like variety, so I'm just... Uh, well, check out this variety. Expand- oh, look at you. Just <laughs> Why not? It's a little bit of lime. Why not? Science. That's how it does. Just put some mint in there and you'll just be fine. I don't know. I don't want to put no mint in there. <laughs> mm. I got a lemon lime flavor. Hey. Tastes like a Skittle. 
<laughs> so there you go. Kind of tastes just, like a Skittle. Your Skittle drink. Nice. Um, yeah. I'm just going to keep going through like all these. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Any, uh, other, any other vodka stories? No. I'm, I'm, I, I didn't have any vodka stories to begin with, really. I mean, I, I had a couple, but. Couple? Couple, but? Couple. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's right. what vodka does to you. That's right. <laughs> yep. No, I. Vodka is an, e- like I said earlier, it's, it's an easy spirit to get into because it just, whatever you put it in, there's not a lot of flavor with vodka. It just takes on whatever you put it in. It's mm. just like adding alcohol to whatever you drink because there's not a lot of extra flavor. Right. So. So don't drink kerosene. <laughs> no, there is there is a difference, though, for good. Like, uh, I have had some really bad, like, the Barton's vodka is, is pretty rot gut. It's cheap. But, uh, like, the Kirkham brand, even though it's cheap, is very, very good. Um, but there is a difference between, like, handcrafted, and I'm not talking handmade like some other people put on their label. Like, this is actually crafted. They actually distill this in in their own. Well, place. I mean, uh, when we were out there at Lonely Oat Distillery, they put Tito's vodka up next to their own vodka, yeah. which you know Tito's is handcrafted. It's handmade. It's it, it's the yeah. potato of vodkas, whatever's. Um, <laughs> it's not a compliment. <laughs> the, the potato of vodkas isn't isn't isn't. Uh, you can make p- vodka from potatoes, yes. But I thought that's what it was. Potato mate. vodka. Yeah, mate. I mean, that's original. I don't know. I could be wrong. Somebody answer me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I'm not going to get on the they internet, st- but I could have st- thought uh, that uh, that was potato vodka. Well, they still can't say because we did a vodka episode, and they still can't really determine where uh, vodka, if it came from Russia or if it came from Poland. So mm. there, there's a lot of information on both sides that support either one of those. But So you know a few episodes back um, where we were doing funny stories? Mm-hmm. Um, and I Uplifting sh- News, that one? I think it was Uplifting News. No, that was news. just our last episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I did the Idaho Potato House. Yeah, I remember that. So our folks uh, were in Idaho, and uh, I sent them the Airbnb link. I said, are you guys staying here? Is this where you guys going to be, you know, mm-hmm. staying in the check giant potato? Check it out. My dad gave me a big thumbs up. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, oh, you should check it out. <laughs> take pictures. Yep. I don't know about staying in the giant potato. It would mm-hmm. be just weird. You got a crack on the wall here. What are you going to fix it with? Potato. Sour cream. <laughs> oh, there you go. Bingo. <laughs> right? Put a little butter on it. It'll be mm. fine. <laughs> yeah, right. It'll be fine. It'll melt uh, itself back into itself. I think we're kind of winding down on this. Yes, uh, we are. Um, yeah, I'm not going to revisit all that because we already <laughs> talked about all that. So I'm, g- I'm going to go through these for the after talk. But, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Again, appreciate those that uh, posted on the live. Oh, yeah, feed. we always appreciate uh, feedback from our uh, live audience, especially and all that stuff. tonight. Yeah. Like I said, tonight was we the had nothing to go on, and yeah. here we are, an hour and a half in, and yep. well, there is nothing for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Game of Thrones uh, series finale, not the season finale, series finale is tonight. So we appreciate those that uh, took the time to to post on here and to watch us and uh, send us your drinks and your your funny stories and all that and uh and that's the end of hbo yeah yep <laughs> uh we've been drinking on vodkas we did the kirkland brand vodka uh the six times yeah, yeah no, it they, was have, fine. they have two types i'm they glad have. that we took the uh, shot side by side that mm-hmm. was good yeah just to get the difference between the two yeah uh and then the other two vodkas were from lonely oaks distillery or um or lonely oak I distillery i'm glad that she still had those that's great yeah i um, drank mine right up <laughs> The North Forty vodka from Lonely Oak Distillery. The uh, with the peach and the regular and the rate like we said earlier, these are handcrafted vodkas, um, not not bought and paid for by some other company and slapped a sticker on it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, we had we started with the cranberry vodka. We went to the lemonade and vodka. Then we did Moscow Mules. We did uh, vodka and mio. We did a couple shots side by side, and then we ended with a screwdriver. Um, and now we're just going, or, or, well, then we did one of our own a little, uh, cool. lemonade and cranberry and vodka with a splash of Mio. Yeah. Which was actually pretty good. Yeah. So slide right up. Um, and as you can see, I still have some full glasses here. I'm <laughs> taking it a little easy. Sorry. Right. Nothing wrong <laughs> we, with that. Quite a variety here though. But, Brian, uh, yes. Drink responsibly. Absolutely. That's, That's why I have water. That's, uh, why I'm not drinking 
super heavily. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Episode 85 wow. for us. Man, yeah. we are cruising right through this. Yeah, I know, right? Yep. It's about to hit summertime. I know. And uh, I've got so summertime fun time. Yep. I'm heading That's to. That's Bo- what I'm thinking. I'm heading to Boise also. Um, and what? Also, yeah. Yeah. What, what are you going to Idaho for? Family vacation. I'm knocking off the 50 states for the girls. So, um, so mom and dad were your paratroopers, and they yeah. went and checked it out first, and they we, were like, it's okay, you can camp here. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, i am got to swing in and go camping. No, we, we had this scheduled away long ago. Head to Chicago here. Old uh, Chicago. Yeah, later in the year. So uh, The only had, reason why I say old Chicago is Chicken in the car, car won't go. That's how you spell it, Chicago. Well, um... There was an old Chicago on 132nd of Maple, mm-hmm. and it always had burnt out letters. Chicago. And it said Chicago one time. So now I just call Chicago Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> that simple story is that. Right. I think you just put the accent on the wrong syllable. Right. Chicago. Yep. Well, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to end this uh, episode 85. Appreciate everyone that was here. Thank you. My name is Brian. I'm Brett. And uh, this is Drink Talk. <laughs>